what is an irrotational vector do you know if you don't know you can learn in this video about the irrotational vector actually a vector field f is called an irrotational vector in a region r if the curl of this vector field f vanishes or it is equal to zero at every point of this region r in nutshell mathematically you can say that if curl of f is equal to zero then this vector field f is called an irrotational vector okay this is a very simple concept this is actually the condition of uh, a, an irrotational vector in differential form when you will uh, state this uh, statement or this condition of irrotational vector in integral form what will be the equivalent uh, statement in integral form we simply say that if the circulation of this vector field f along any closed curve in this region r is equal to zero then this vector field is called an irrotational vector so mathematically you can say that if in the if the tangential line integral of f that is integral of f dot dr along any closed curve c then and this is equal to zero then this f is called an irrotational vector so these two statements that curl of f equal to 0 and uh, integral of f dot dr along a closed curve c equal to 0 both are actually equivalent to one another the first statement is in differential form and the second is in integral form but uh, both of them uh, states the same physical thing okay now we will see some of the important examples of this irrotational vector in first example you can take that if a is any constant vector field it means uh, let us say that a is equal to let us say a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k in 3d space and all these a1 a2 and a3 are constant these are not functions of x y and z then you know that curl of any constant vector is equal to zero so this condition will be satisfied that curl of a equal to zero and if curl of a is equal to zero you know that vector a will be called an irrotational vector so any constant vector field is a is an example of an irrotational vector the another important example is electrostatic field e e is an electrostatic field it is produced by a point charge let us say then this will be definitely an irrotational vector because if e is an electrostatic field then it is found that curl of e is equal to zero you know that if e is not an electrostatic field but it is of electromagnetic character then curl of e is not zero then you know that curl of e is equal to minus del b by del t minus del b by del t when e is of electromagnetic character this is actually faraday's law of electromagnetic induction or maxwell's equation but if e is an electrostatic field then curl of e is zero and then you can say that this field vector e is an irrotational vector okay now we take a, a very important another example that we consider that f is a vector field which is actually equal to gradient of a scalar field phi phi is a scalar field and this vector field f is equal to gradient of phi that is equal to del phi if f is defined by the gradient of a scalar field then this vector field will be irrotational because you can see that for f to be irrotational curl f must be zero and here curl of f will be equal to curl of gradient of phi 
but uh, you know uh, this well known vector identity that curl of gradient of any scalar function is always zero so definitely this curl of grad phi will be zero and as grad phi is equal to f so curl of f is zero and so you can say that f is an irrotational vector okay now uh, we take a very good example of uh, this irrotational vector and this is a uh, position vector r you can see this figure that uh, the position vector of this point p whose uh, space coordinates are x y z with respect to this arbitrary origin o i have considered r and then you know that r is expressed as x i plus y j plus z k and this r you can see will be an irrotational vector because you can see that this curl of r is equal to zero how you can say that curl of r is zero you know from definition of curl of a vector that we can express this curl of r in this determinant form uh, you can see this determinant this is i j k del del x del del y del del z x y z and uh, when you will solve this uh, determinant uh, what will be your result you can see we will take i and uh, this will be del z by del y minus del y by del z and actually in second term of determinant there is minus sign but here i have taken plus sign so the uh, order of operation here has been uh, just reversed so the result will be same so you can say this will be plus j del x by del z minus del z by del x you can check and plus k del y by del x minus del x by del y as you know that these x y and z all these three are independent variables it means x does not depend on y and z y does not depend on x and z and z does not depend on x and y so whenever you will take a partial derivative of x with respect to y or z or a partial derivative of y with respect to x or uh, z and a partial derivative of z with respect to x or y you will get zero so all these partial derivatives are zero okay you can see all these partial derivatives are zero and so this curl of r is simply equal to a zero vector this is a null vector or zero vector so you can see that uh, this position vector r uh, is such a vector whose curl is equal to zero and so it is called an irrotational vector i hope you have learnt about the irrotational vector